Firstly, we talk about what is Mantis? Mantis is an open source bug tracking software that can be used to track software defects for various software projects. You can easily download and install the Mantis for your use. Mantis now also provides a hosted version of the software. You can easily customize Mantis to map your software development workflow. Then look at, features of Mantis, email notifications, it sends out emails of updates, comments, and resolutions to the concerned stakeholders. Access control, you can control user access at a project level, customize, you can easily customize Mantis as per your requirements. Mobile support, Mantis supports iPhone, Android, and Windows Phone platforms. Plugins, a never expanding library of plugins to add custom functionality to Mantis issue tracker. Collaboration and hassle free, it makes collaboration with team members and clients easy, fast, and professional. Dashboard, dashboard displays assigned to me, unassigned, reported by me, and many other standard filters to look at all the issues belonging to individual users. The timeline feature allows keeping an eye on what is happening across the project. It displays a live stream of the latest actions taken by any team member. Release management, time tracking, Mantis supports its own inbuilt time tracking feature. Users can easily enter the time spent on a particular issue. It can help make a report on the spent hours for each issue as an individual or as a team. Now we talk about the usage of Mantis to track all bugs or issues throughout the defect lifecycle. To manage at the release level as well. Supports analytic and reporting features. Supports plugin with other software and IDE to make it more strong and more effective. Let's talk about license and free trail of Mantis. It is open source software. A license is not required to use its basic version. It provides demo and hosting versions for free trials. It supports the download feature to set up your own Mantis software. The user can sign up using an email ID. Mantis has different price quotes based on added features that can be seen at the given link in the slide. Let's talk about how to set up up Mantis demo trail. Following are the steps to set up a demo trial. First step is go to this link and click demo as shown in the video. Second step is on the next page, click on start your free trial button. Third step is on the next page, click on start a free trial now button. The next step is fill all the details on the sign up page and click on the sign me up button as displayed in the video. It takes 1 to 2 minutes to set up the URL and a free trial for 30 days. After successful setup, the user will be able to see the MyView page of Mantis as displayed in the video. Let's talk about Mantis login. First step is to log into Mantis and go to your sample demo website. It will open the login page. Then, Fill in your registered email address or username and click on the login button. The next step is unsuccessful validation of the username, it will ask for a password. Enter the password and click on the login button. In video shows how to log into Mantis using credentials. If login is successful, the system dashboard will display if the account is associated with any project by the admin or the user can create a sample project, which will be discussed in subsequent chapters. Due to unsuccessful login, an error page is displayed, and the user will go back to the username page. The video shows the error message the user receives if the password is incorrect.
If you do not remember your password, click on Lost Your Password link. Then, provide a username and email address to get the password reset link. Click on Submit button as shown in the video. Then, the user will get an email with a URL to reset the password. Let's talk about Mantis Project Management to perform project management activities. The user should have admin permission. Let's talk about create a project. Following are the steps to create a project. Firstly, log in as administrator. Then, go to the manage section present at the left menu bar. Then, click on the manage projects tab. Then, to create a new project, click on the create new project button. To edit an existing project, click on the project name. Here, my project is the existing default project. The video shows how to create a new project. After clicking Create Project, the Create Project form opens. Then, enter the following fields before creation, name, enter the project name. Description, a brief description or summary of the project. Status, the maturity or development status of the project. This is an informational field and doesn't affect Mantis. View status, it determines who can access the project and whether the project can be viewed by all logged in users in the case of public projects. Private projects are only visible to users assigned to the project or to administrators. Finally, click on the Add Project button. The video shows the fields to enter to add a new project. Let's talk about how to select a project to select a project. The navigation feature is available at the top right corner of the page. To see this option, the user should be entitled to view at least two projects. The projects that the user is entitled to view are listed under the All Projects option. If the user selects the All Projects option from the list, it will display all the listed projects that the user is entitled to view. To view an individual project, the user should select a particular project from the list. The following video displays how to select projects. Let's look at how to archive a project if the user wants to hide a project from the list of projects as available. From the top drop down list, archiving a project is a solution for it. Once the project is archived, the user is not able to view issues from the respective projects. Projects can also be unarchived based on the requirements. Firstly, go to Manage and then go to Manage Projects. Then, click on the project name that needs to be archived or unarchived. Then, tick or untick the Enable field for unarchival or archival. Finally, click on the Update Project button. The video displays how to archive or unarchive a project. Let's talk about create an account following are the steps to create an account. Firstly, log in as administrator. Then, go to manage section present at the left menu bar. Then, click on manage users tab. Then, to create a new user, click on the create new account button. To edit an existing account, click on the username. The video shows how to create a new account. After clicking create new account, the create account form opens. Then, Enter the following fields before creation, username, real name, email, and access level. Finally, click on the Create User button. Video shows the fields to enter to add a new user.
Let's talk about create a category. To do this user must be admin or manager. First, go to manage. Then, manage projects tab. Then, enter the category name in the text box and click on add category button. The video shows how to add a global category. On successful addition, the user will be able to see the category name under global categories section. The user can edit the category anytime by clicking the edit button present under actions column. Let's talk about how to configure categories. Categories can be configured to a default assignee. All issues logged under this category will automatically be assigned to a team member. Firstly, to configure the category, go to manage. Then, manage projects. Then, global categories. Then, click on the edit button to configure a specific category. In the edit project category, select assign to from the drop down list. Then, click on update category button. The video shows how to configure a category. Let's talk how to delete a category. First step is to delete a category, go to manage. Then, go to manage projects. Then, click a specific category to delete. Then, click the delete button from the actions column as shown in the video. After clicking delete, Mantis displays a warning message and asks for confirmation, whether the user wants to delete a specific category or not. Click the delete category button as shown in the video. If the issues are listed under the deleted category, after deletion, the issues will be updated automatically and displayed as no category. Lifecycle denotes different stages or status of issues. Lifecycle starts from reporting an issue and ends when the issue is resolved or closed. An issue mainly can have three stages open, resolve, and close. However, Mantis supports more status as is explained further. New, this is the first status for a new issue when the users report it. The next status may be feedback, acknowledged, confirmed, assigned or resolved. Feedback, this status is used for reviewing purpose. Before assigning to a team member, a review process happens to decide the validity of issue and concern team. The next status may be new, assigned, or resolved. Acknowledged. This status is used by the development team to send a confirmation about receiving an issue or to agree with the reporter's concern. However, it is possible that they have not yet reproduced the issue. The next status is assigned or confirmed. Confirmed, this status is typically used by the development team to reflect that they have confirmed and reproduced the issue. The next status is assigned. Assigned. This status is used to reflect that the issue has been assigned to one of the team members and the team member is responsible to fix it and actively working on it. The next status is resolved. Resolved, this status is used to reflect that the issue has been fixed or resolved. An issue can be resolved among any of the following resolutions. For example, an issue can be called as resolved for fixed, duplicate, won't fix, no change required, or other reasons. The next status is closed, or in case if the issue is being reopened, then it would be feedback. Closed, this status reflects that the issue is closed and successfully validated. No further actions are required on it. Once the issue gets closed, it hides the issue from the view issues page. Following are the steps to report an issue. Firstly, if the user has access to multiple projects, first select the project at the top right corner of the screen where issues will be reported. There are two ways to go on Report Issues form. Click the Report Issue link present at the top beside the Product filter or click the Report Issue section from the left menu bar. The video shows how to set a project filter and available options for Report Issues. After clicking the Report Issue, it opens the Enter Issue Details page with mandatory and optional fields. Then, enter all the details properly. These are the following fields. Category, it defines under which area of project it belongs such as development, database, and services so that the concern team can start looking into it. Summary, a brief title of the issue that provides high-level info about the issue. 
Description, the detailed information of the issue. It should contain all relevant details minor to major, so the concerned team member analyzes all the aspects. In addition to the mandatory fields, there are useful optional fields such as set severity, priority, tax and view status. The user can also assign it to a specific user as well as upload a file as an attachment. If the user wants to report more than one issue, check the report state checkbox, which will return to the report issue page after the submission of an issue. Now, click the submit issue button present at the bottom of the page. The video displays the different fields and the submit button. After successful creation, the user navigates to view issue page, where the new reported issue can be seen. Users can edit the details of an issue anytime. To edit an issue, the user should open an issue from any of the available options from My View page or View Issue page from the left menu option. Following steps should be performed while editing an issue. Firstly, open the issue in View page by clicking on Issue ID. The user will be able to see various sections of the View Issue Details page. View Issue Details, Relationship, Users Monitoring this issue, Activities, Add note, issue history. The video displays all the sections in the view issue page. Then, after opening the view issue details page, click the edit button as shown in the video. Updating issue information page opens up showing the editable fields as depicted in the video. After editing the information, click the Update Information button as shown in the video. The updated information in log details can be seen in the issue history section as seen in the video. This is the end of Mantis Bug Tracker demonstration.